speaking to us as black Americans, I'm sick of it. I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of tired of this ish. God damn. How much can they speak of that pandemic? Kamala Harris, link up with the cast, a different world. Just more pandering to try to get our vote. They talk about student debt relief, specifically for HBCUs. I ain't seen no goddamn relief yet. I ain't seen not one student debt relief yet. And the people that get student debt relief, well, we know what shade they is. What kind of hue they spew. Okay? That's going to be on today's episode of the Sears Glare, where I'm your lovely or hated host, Kamal, a.k.a. the Black Seinfeld, a.k.a. Magic X. Oh, let me talk to my hating crowd, too. God damn y'all loud in that bitch. Y'all loud in the comments. My support side, y'all need to get louder. Yeah. They loud and proud in my comments. My supporting side, y'all need to be loud and proud too. Anyway, what's good with y'all out there? You feel me? We about to talk about Kamala Harris, how she linked up with the, the cast or some of the cast members of a different world, thinking that's going to get our vote. That's not going to get our vote. You better be start talking about tangibles. That's all we care about. That's all we care about. You know, to the viewer that said, oh, and you don't get to have that thing. They might, we might take you out seriously. Well, I seriously got something for you. Here it is for profanity. Eat a dick. Anyway, let me talk to the sector of my audience that shows love and appreciation for your breath. That is my fam. We don't always agree, but when we disagree, we do it with respect. What should y'all be doing right now? Well, what y'all waiting for? And if they watching, at least they learn. Yeah, it's Saturday school. So sit your asses down and shut the fuck up. I know some of y'all's like, damn, that's how you talk to kids. Man, kids is talking like that to us now. All right. Now, the other sector of my audience. Jeremy, you in there? That other cocksucker that talked about my profanity, you in there probably grabbing dicks. You feel me? The hunkies. The suspected WSs, the Sam Bowls, and all the rest of you mother effers. What should y'all be doing right now? That's right. E A D. Now, with that being said, phone lines is open, y'all. Y'all want to call in 619-609-7383. And oh, I gotta thank my brother. He out of town right now with his wife. I think they in France or Paris. Are they in France? Rome? I don't know. Somewhere that look nice. You feel me? My brother, producer of the show, Kiwi. You feel me? All them numbers going up. Let's keep getting them up. You feel me? Y'all see it? You see the picture right there. Bro, we're out there. You know what I mean? Show some love. Appreciate you, bro. Now, with that being said, look, yeah. Vice President Kamala Harris links up with a different world cast to promote student debt relief HBCUs. Well, damn it. I so do remember this, though. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. Hold on one more time. I didn't hear that clearly. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. What? Then what is this? Oh, you're right. You're right. It ain't only a, it don't, it ain't only black people that go to HBCUs. You feel me, y'all? Watch. They're going to, they going to get student debt relief to, to cert, a certain hue. They go to HBCUs. Bars. Now, this is the little commercial thing that they did. More pandering, but I guess we'll watch it. And, and let me tell y'all something. A different World is a slapper. Okay? That show was incredible. All right? And I ain't knocking the cast members. I'm knocking Kamala Harris because I know what she's doing. This song's still a slapper, though. It's a different world. Where it comes from? The city of life. Actually, I got the song. I'm going to change the words. 
Them tangibles need to be told. We want cash reparations now. If it ain't on the damn table, you ain't about to get all, oh, oh, all black vote. Let me say it one more time. Oh, you ain't about to get all, oh, all black vote. Oh, I think that sounds better. Anyway, let's read into this article. You feel me? Then I got the slapper of the day. Then after that, uh, we're going to get out of here. Oh, and also, Jeremy. T tell your mom stop eating your ass like this, bro. All right. That's to my, you know, my uh suspected WS fan out there. Jeremy, you know who I'm talking about. Tell your mama stop eating your ass like that. All right. Uh, we don't read bullet points. You know why? Because it's an article. This came out April 14th. Let me make this bigger for people blind like me. Vice President Kamala Harris celebrated historically black colleges and universities, which the cast of sitcom A Different World at the White House, or as the White House, promoted their efforts to reduce the burden of student debt. How about y'all just eradicate it? Get rid of it. I know, I know. Y'all think I'd be like, nah, bro, they gotta pay their bills because I pay my student debt off. Nah, but you see, see, I'm a different person. I'm a different breed. I know I, I, I hustled and and. Uh, crawled and scratched and did what I had to do to pay off my student loan. You feel me? But that don't mean I can have not not have compassion and be like, nah, just wipe it off for everybody else. Or how about this? How about y'all pay me back as y'all do that? that? That'd be nice. Get a rebate. In a video posted on Friday, Harris highlighted the Biden-Harris administration's moves to eliminate student debt for millions of bor borrowers which is a lift all program, believe it or not. I know they're trying to gear it towards HBCUs, but this is a lift all program. You feel me? She was joined by a different world co-stars, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, and Glenn Turman, and urging borrowers to learn more about the federal debt relief programs available. Okay. The video begins with Guy, who starred as Whitley Gilbert and Hardison, who played Dwayne... Dwayne Wayne at the White House. In the show, Wayne had a love interest in Gilbert as they studied at Hillman College, a fictional HBCU. The series ran on NBC from 87 to 93. You feel me? Hey, uh, you know what y'all should have did, though? I, I, I would say this was the only mistake about the, the different world. Y'all should have talked more about the finances of, like, how college is. How you got it, like... Or if y'all did, I, I wasn't aware. But, like, how it's shitty to fill out financial aid because they be messing up in the department or how you might get your financial aid two weeks later. So then now you got to eat top ramen for weeks. Y'all want to know? Let me tell y'all a college story about me. You know what? Now we're getting into my girl. You feel me? Um, I remember one time I had to make $150 worth of groceries last for a month. I asked people over, over the crib. You know what I mean? I mean, roommates, stuff like that. You know, a certain person asked me for a cup of noodles. I sold it for 25 cents. But somehow I was the bad guy. I was called cheap. I was looked at as funny. But they didn't know I had to make a, a, a week and a half worth of groceries last for a damn month. Now, with that being said, hmm. Did my financial aid hit in time? Hell no, I didn't. I had to wait another two weeks before that shit came in. Okay? That's the only gripe I have with a different world. They should have came in with the finances and been like, hey, man, you might have to pay some out-of-state out of taxes to go into these schools. You feel me? If you don't go to, you're not from the state that the school is in. Feel what I'm saying? But I digress. We're living in a different world, guy said. Oh, Lord Jesus. That was, oh, my God. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> Partisan follows saying, whether you graduated from Hillman or before the camera cuts to Harris, who continues saying, or went to the real HU, student loan debt is a burden far for far too many people these days, and we're doing something about it. Harris is a graduate of Howard University, with students and alumni of the institution uh, denote as the real HU, 
hey, y'all get did y'all fix that problem where y'all have roaches and rats having meetings in the dorms? It's like the roaches and rats are playing spades in the dorms, y'all. Did y'all fix that problem yet, Howard? Or okay. To di differentiate it from his rival Hampton University. In a follow-up video posted on Saturday, the cast included Cray Summer, Don Lewis, Chanel or Chernele Brown, and Daryl Bell. Re recreate the sitcom's intro outside the West Wing. It later pans to Harris greeting and speaking with the cast in her office. I wonder what she was saying. According to the vice president's office, Harris was elated to welcome the cast at the White House during their visit, orchestrated by the White House Office of Public Engagement. The cast was in Washington, D.C. as part of their HBCU tour to promote enrollment and raise scholarship funding for current and future students. Why the fuck are y'all trying to raise enrollment when y'all just said people are getting slaughtered with, uh, with, with, with uh, loans? Student loans are slaughtering people. But y'all want more enrollment. That, that, I don't know, man. I, that sounds like horse shit. That sounds like a contradiction. But I digress. The actors had a private meeting with Harris on Tuesday where they discussed Biden's Harris administration's efforts to address the rising cost of higher education and the burden of student debt. Yeah, college costs too damn much. It's like that one person that say, rent too damn high. You know what else too damn high? College. God damn. You go to college, now you, you uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in goddamn debt, and you can't even get a job. Or you get a job where if you would have just went into the job instead of college, you would have became a manager and been making more than what you get paid as an entry-level person from coming to college. Now, I'll say this. If you're doing certain things like engineering, a lawyer, scientist, doctor, stuff in that regards, you got to go to college. You got no choice. You have to go to college to get these type of jobs. But all that other shit seems kind of scamish to me. I ain't going to lie, they got my ass SDSU. I remember when you motherfuckers didn't have no broken yolk or no whole foods, and now you got whole foods, broken yolk. You got damn, uh, you got all these other restaurants. Yeah, you spent my thirty thousand dollars. Well, you motherfuckers. The vice president office said Harris will continue to uplift the importance of HBCUs and the impact of trailblazing HBCU graduates across the nation. Hmm. Okay. My bad, y'all. The wisdom teeth. I'm still dealing with that injury. Okay. All right. A day before the cast of A Different World visited the White House, which included a tour of the press briefing room with White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. That woman at times. We might have to do a segment on her ass. The Biden-Harris administration announced its long-anticipated student loan debt relief program. They've been doing this shit since the whole time, though. This ain't nothing new. Don't let them fool y'all. That this ain't nothing new. They acting like this is a new program. This is not a new program. The plan, the plan B. Oh my God. I know y'all didn't call this shit the plan B. What the man? If y'all don't stop it. If y'all don't stop it. To President Biden's original plan, which the U.S. Supreme Court eliminated, includes five methods to fix the federal student loan program, including providing debt cancellation for borrowers who owe more today than they did when they entered repayment, who owed for 20 years or more who are experiencing financial hardship. The proposed plan is expected to be finalized by the fall. By the fall, you might Y'all might not be in office by fall. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Nah, bro, I'm thoroughly confused. What they talking about? They might not be in office by fall. Combined with existing student loan programs created to expand by the administration, 
The White House expects to provide relief to as many as 30 million student borrowers, including many black and Latino borrowers. See, and they hit us with this horse shit. You know what? Let's be real. Most of the people that's going to get their goddamn shit eradicated is going to be Latinos. Sucks to say. Other programs have shown this already, such as venture capitalist programs, where it's supposed to be for black people, but they mix in the Latino. They call it black and brown, and somehow the brown get most of the damn money. When the fuck is the Latinos going to be, when, when is the Latino congregation going to be like, we got a program that's going to help Latinos and black people? I ain't heard that shit. I ain't heard of that. When this Latino, this, oh, we about to help out Latinos. To date, Biden and Harris have canceled $146 billion in student loan debt for 4 million Americans. How many of these 4 million Americans are black? That's what I would like to know. Wouldn't you like to know that too? How many of them were black? The Griot caught up with the cast of Different World about the, about the need to bring economic relief to black college students and borrowers. We're weighing these babies down when they're just starting life, Guy told the Griot. They're coming into their life with a ball and chain. Bell, who starred as Ron Johnson on A Different World, evoked America's first black president, Barack Obama, and former first lady, Michelle Obama, who did not pay off their college debt until four years before they entered the White House. Everybody can't do, can't, my bad, sorry y'all, can't do that to get out of debt, Bell said. Lewis, who played Jalise Vinson, said she couldn't pay off her student loan debt until her starring role in A Different World. It was uh, getting deferred, deferred until I got a job. I could have been doing that for more than a decade to trying to pay off my student loans, said Lewis, who graduated from the University of Miami. But it was different to get the education and you do what you have to do. Reflecting on their visit to the White House and progress for black Americans, Terman, who starred at... This is what pisses me off. Progress for black Americans, right? Then what the fuck is this whole black and Latino shit? No, nah, seriously. What is this black and Latino shit, but we trying to progress black Americans? No, nah, for real, I, want, I, I would like an answer. Can y'all answer that for me, please? Who starred as uh, Colonial Bradford Taylor on the show said it was a good jumping, uh, jumping off point. I actually see us going much further. Okay, I'm... Uh, uh, all right, man. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to read some comments. But before we do that, though, two family, two been around since 05. I don't need to tell y'all what to do to get the video or the channel booming. But it's always great to remind y'all, like a sub, sub a share, share a comment, comment a like. All right. Now, we pay bills around here. I like to thank my sponsor, First Place Losers. The link to the shop gonna be in the description below. Y'all go check out the fire ass garments made out of 100% Egyptian cotton. All right, it's gonna look magnificent on y'all. All right, now, Twitch family, hit your bro to follow, hit your bro to share. Okay, now let's read some of these comments below this video right here. All right, uh, snaps. Miss Snack says. You would do anything except deliver the policies that matter to black voters. Thank you, Miss Snacks. Thank you, Miss Snacks. You will get a like. Gerald A. Griggs, awesome video. Must be a Democratic shield. Okay. Uh, Naheem gave a gift. And the gift, yeah. I'm feeling the same way, bro. Damn. This what y'all really doing? For real? I like that. I like that. Freedman Chief Justice Reparation says, we demand reparations for American freedmen. Reparations for American freedmen. Reparations for American freedmen. And it goes on. You get the gist. We want reparations. None of this symbolic shit. Y'all trying to keep hit us with this symbolic shit, bro. We don't, we, we don't care about that symbolism. We want them tangibles. 
Okay. One love black seven says reparations now. Like this is why black people are voting independently or Republican. Democrats are mad at Trump gold sneakers while every chance Democrats get, they disrespect the descendants in black America. You got damn right. Lisa says producing commercials now close the border. Lisa, shut the fuck up and eat a dick. We ain't talking about close the border right now. We talking about fucking reparations of us as black Americans. Why are you jumping your white ass in a black business? God damn. Joey Monarino says, keep Aretha Frank Franklin out of your bullshit. I don't know what the fuck that means because she's selling the titles on it. People just say dumb shit on Twitter. Savvy Sab says, more pandering, huh? You got damn right. Pandering. Symbolic bullshit. They keep doing it. Symbolic bullshit. All right. How much more time we got left, though? How much more time we got left? All right, I'm going to read a couple more comments. I'm going to play a slapper of the day. I got to do some salt water, too. My, uh, I'm hurting right here, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right. Uh, the Notable Exception says, I love the Different World cast, and the show is a positive impact for many, but this has not, nor will it move or sway my opinion. Exactly. Policies over beloved TV cast. Policies over party. You goddamn right, brother. Okay. Uh, D Pay says more pandering to black folks, huh? Exactly. You get a like. <laughs> Hotel Priestess says, "Girl, we are not voting for you. You got damn right. You know why? Cause you say goofy shit like this." So I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people. Let's really be clear about that. Okay, we're gonna be clear. So I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people. Okay, and we're gonna be crystal clear. We not about to vote for your ass. How about you go talk to the, the, the Indian side of your family? Okay. Y'all get my drift? All right. Anyway, that being said, we are about to get into the slapper of the day. And yes, I'm playing another slapper from Rock Marciano from his album, Marciology. You feel me? I got to play this right here. This is a hot one right here. And this one's featuring... Knowledge the Pirate in Gear A God. Okay? And this is Larry Bird. Okay. Uh-huh. Let y'all check out the track list. Christian. Little Ricky jumping for joy here turns back on his glory, brother. 
love for that brother with chill money. Don't tell us turn to script writers. You cannot sit by us. I play Maryland like lit lights. I'll be nice as iceberg made history. Take a bus trip like Rich Fryer and Sicily. Now these people know my name way out in Sicily. Right below the front row, you look God come Christian me. I knew this shit had happened eventually. Yeah. If you're too young for busting loose, I was chopping up a deuce, but all of us did a goose. Yeah. I got light quarter fix, you need some proof. Never trained, only thing kept falling was the roof. I need you to time to digest. No, I ain't been trying to get the skinny, I like a cold man. If she ain't fixed, she gets shot down like cornbread. Well, friend, let's get one thing clear. Bad boy, I whip a bird like he'll let me be. God. Me and Ma, she like magic and Kareem. Like the crew will treat me cold. I'll be Kelly with the team. But like the plane and boss and all this fighting and screaming. I see you, son. You want to make that? We got a new plug in Medellin. We got a new bird for 14 and for a green. So I got a brick and a half and did a stand. I picked up for two different murders and did a sand. Yeah, it's a hard boy classic type of game. So I became the number one track before the chain. My heart to shout, he's very passionate about the game. You made a good little distraction and let it man. Listen, yeah, we're doing it in the air, we're gonna catch it and do our thing. That's how you score to win the basket for your team. The man said he just got out of traffic with the things. Yeah, that was Larry Bird. Up on Marciology, Rock Marciano. Featuring Knowledge the Pirate and Gray A. Gall. Woo! Slapper right there. This album a slapper too. There's a couple more slappers on here. I might slap. All right, for y'all. But with that being said, that means we are coming to the end of the show. This is another episode of the Sears Glare. Where I'm your lovely or hated host, Kamal, a.k.a. The Black Seinfeld, a.k.a. Magic X. And since I have a certain sector of my audience that shows love and appreciation for your breath, that is my fam. We don't always agree, but when we disagree, we do it with respect. And this side of the audience, I need y'all to be louder with y'all support, okay? That means more comments, start interacting more. I see y'all out there, but let's get them goddamn comments up. But with that being said, what should y'all be doing right now? Well, there we go. And if they watch, at least they learning. And I appreciate some of y'all, from the ugly to the beautiful and to the in-betweeners. Now, the other sector of my audience, you hating trolls, you suspected WSs, you goddamn honkies, you goddamn coons, sambos, foul mouth motherfuckers, and all the rest of you haters. What should y'all be doing right now? That's right. EAD. All right. Phone lines is closing, so if you want to leave a voicemail about, you know what I mean, Kamala Harris saying this, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. And also this new segment right here, the number is 619-609-7383. Okay? Now, with that being said, final note is this, y'all. We're not for the symbolism shit no more, y'all. Okay? If you're not talking about tangibles, you're not about to get our vote. Peace out.